What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. It's currently about 12 o'clock on Saturday. The team went out last night for Beck and Daniel's birthday. Your boy kept it under control. I uh, had a really good time, but I didn't like, go overboard or anything. And I'm like proud of myself for not like, I don't know, I feel really good. So I'm about to weigh in. Boom! First day under 180 pounds. That, bro, this is, that's monumental. This is a big day. We're fine. Like we're gonna be in the 170s for a very long time. Today's day one in the 170s. I think like everyone's downstairs, so. This house is kind of like, it's like a frat house, man, on, on the weekends. It turns into a frat house with everybody here. Just like in the mornings hanging out, and honestly, it's like really fun. It's like some of my favorite times are the mornings after we go out, we're just all hanging out, talking about the night and stuff. So. <laughs> Y'all were so boring, I had to sleep. <laughs> Must be nice to look at Instagram, I can't even look at my phone. I don't know. This guy, over here, just literally leaves his phone in the Uber. The Uber takes off. He goes, right. I call them at least nine times. I'll show you. I'll sh yes, I will show you. You were look at my call history. Look, look. Are you kidding me? Look, you didn't call three times. Three thirty-four a.m. Where's my phone? He's not answering. He goes straight to voicemail. I bet. I bet you took my phone while I was in the Uber and you hid it in the car. Where, where are they going? Where Beck and Joe go? Jupiter's. Damn. That's Chicken waffles. <laughs> Instead of having like cold, five day old turkey heated up in egg whites. What's up? I'm the only one that didn't drink last night because I'm so dedicated to summer shredding. You don't always have to drink to have a good time. You are so drunk. Why do you think I'm so energetic right now? <laughs> breakfast I've got a ton of how do you show me this it's not weight or anything not tracked but this is a ton of egg whites a ton of turkey cheese some spinach and salsa salt and pepper this camera looks nice this is a new camera it's mm. a 7 r currently chilling with Heidi Nala, just taking a little rest time while Max irons his shirts. And then we're going to the gym. Max, you iron your shirts? Yeah, I literally only iron my shirts because you yelled at me that my shirts are so wrinkly on my website, so. This is a rare sighting that Nala's here, but I've been scratching her ear, so she's okay to stay in here. Heidi's eating these sour candies right no, next I'm to me. No, I'm not. Me. Summer shredding She's snacking on them. Summer shredding But I haven't had one, I promise. No, I mean, I, I, that means I don't promise. That means I do promise. I'm just gonna plug my phone in, is that cool? I was liking those cell phones. Dude, I bet, I bet I'm getting so many DMs from girls right now. Like, Max. Everything good? What's going on? What's going on, how are you? Killing it, baby. I need it in my life. Dad deleted <laughs> his Instagram on accident. Dude, I'm, I'm like having, I'm dead. I don't feel good. I had a customer give me a check and I went to cash a check at Chase Bank and they didn't cash it and I was like pissed. What? what? And then I looked at my phone, there was a prompt and I just hit it pissed off and it was like, I deleted my Instagram. Oh, <laughs> What's going on, family? Welcome back to another commentary. Hopefully you're enjoying the vlog so far. But sit back and relax because I need to just talk to you guys. I need to vent. I need to let you in. I'm not going to really talk about the workout this video, but it's just been a chaotic week, man. The last seven to 10 days have been extremely stressful and hectic, chaotic, uh, crazy. We, you know the weeks I'm talking about, like everything feels pretty normal. And then like this certain time is just so over overwhelming and I'm just gonna, I just need to vent. So I'm not complaining right now. I just want to vent to you guys and just vocalize this for myself. So, man, we dropped some summer shredding hoodies today. Alfie at 500K on Instagram, we did this sale. Uh, it's 25% off sale. I leave to Australia for a whole week on Tuesday. My ghost pre-workout drops in two flavors, the white one with the blue and then the, the lemon lime on Thursday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Up Energy Drinks is in very big meetings right now with vitamin shop with 7-Elevens. We are just doing 
it's a lot. <laughs> um, Alfley is exploding. We've got a big team of athletes and affiliates that we are working with. And so we have a massive launch coming up when I get back from Australia, then I go to body power. But in between that, I need to schedule, not only shoot all the photos locally, but also source like multiple photographers in different areas for our affiliates that we want to include and just get all the product. I have three different manufacturers for Outfleet, four really, and we're like sourcing from each one for this next week launch in May. And so organizing all that, being sure everything's here on time. And like not only that, but yeah, there's my girlfriend, my parents, like everything, balancing friends, uh, of course, doing a video every other day and getting content and like being creative and trying to put entertaining stuff out for you guys to enjoy, obviously is a priority. And it can just feel like a lot at times. And, and I'm not complaining again. I feel, I'm so freaking blessed to be in the position I am and to be busy, but we, I do take a lot on. I'm working on a new project and I, I have Becca Derrick and like that, that, that is Alfie. Alfie, it's a huge, it's not huge relatively, but it is a, it's a big company. Um, very big company and uh, yeah, it may be time for me to start looking for some, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just venting, but again, I'm blessed, but I guess the whole point of this talk is to say that I feel like I've been a little bit distracted as far, I've been losing sight of my goal for summer shredding, which is to be very personal and focus on fitness. And I've been killing in the gym. I'm hitting weigh-ins. I'm really, really having good workouts, getting my cardio in and seeing progress, but I feel like I haven't been documenting it and like talking about fitness and talking about the things I should be talking about as much as I want to and showing you guys like meals and cooking and like the basics, right? And so I guess I'm making this commentary to let you know that I'm going to be focusing, like refocusing myself on those core things while balancing everything that's going on. But I'm honestly about to travel to Australia and we have a direct flight from Houston to Sydney. Um, and I think it'll be really cool to actually travel for this series. I haven't traveled, like last year I traveled, I was all over the place. But this year I've really just been home. I've been in San Antonio with, you know, just seeing Heidi, but I haven't actually left like anywhere big. And especially like, an 18 hour flight or it's 15 whatever hour flight it is i think it's been really cool to be in a different country be across the world and show you guys how i make it happen how i deal with the bloating from the flights and the plane food and just the travel like life pretty much um so just stay with me a ton of fitness stuff's gonna be coming out fitness material will be coming out in the next few vlogs i'm gonna be vlogging myself so it's more personal and i feel like connection is just sort of dim right now because i've just been so distracted by everything but yeah this is me just verbalizing it Get excited. I'm pumped. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, yeah, you guys are freaking amazing. And I like none of this would even be possible without you all. Just want to say that. That's all I that was the goal of this commentary. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned to find out if sex counts as cardio. I absolutely hate saying the word potty. I've never used the word with any of my dogs until Ava. Because Becca taught her the word potty, so I have to tell her like 10 times to go potty or she literally won't go if I don't say the word potty. Potty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was not, I, I used to say, I would say go outside. Which yeah. technically, yeah, to humans, it's like go outside, like I'm outside, duh, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Immaturity and spiders. <laughs>
Lucian and I have done the exact same amount of cardio. Look how much more he sweats than I do. Like dr you're dripping in sweat. sweat. I sweat. Like, I you know. Have the same amount of cardio. I know. And you're not sweating at all. I don't know sure. I'm not sure if, it's, if, if you sweat a lot or I just don't sweat I a lot. Sweat a lot. Oh. Okay. A lot, a lot. We're doing 30 minutes today. I think I'm gonna finish off right at about 400 calories burned. But this cardio session leads me to today's topic of the video. Does sex count as cardio? And obviously, guys, I. She didn't even know what just happened. Uh, the question today, does sex count as cardio? I'm using that because I want you guys to watch the video. The real question, does sex count as cardio? Does basketball count as cardio? Does throwing a football around outside with your friends for 30 minutes count as cardio? Going for a random bike ride with your parents, whatever you're doing, right? These lifestyle activities, <laughs> lifestyle activities, do they count as cardio? What is cardio? Cardio is simply any time you're elevating your heart rate, you are rhythmically moving muscle groups at the same time for a prolonged period of time. So technically speaking, everything I just listed, sex, bike rides, uh, shooting basketball, play, uh, catching football, uh, soccer games, whatever, anything you're doing, walking, on an in, walking up a hill to, to go to your work, right? That is technically cardio. Just because that is cardio, does that mean that you can actually count that when you're trying to lose fat and do, you know, transform your body? Can you do that in replacement of you know, typical hit cardio sessions and dedicating yourself to the Stairmaster and incline treadmill and those things. So I'm gonna cook some food and then finish answering the question. dinner, I made some quesadillas. We went to the grocery store, picked up some fresh bell peppers, uh, all the th all three colors. I got some onions. Well, there's an orange one too. We didn't get the orange one. I got some onions, sauteed them, picked some chicken up, some fat-free cheese. For the tortillas that I use, I didn't use anything special. Uh, I found these mission tortillas, whole wheat tortillas, macros, five fat, 34 carb, five fiber, and six grams of protein per. So I used two of them. This is my main meal for the day. I'm super excited to eat this. So I'm gonna enjoy this meal and then we're gonna finish talking about sex and cardio. Is sex cardio? Yes. Is basketball cardio? Yes. Is taking Nala for a, a walk around the lake a few times cardio? Yes, if I go to a certain pace. But though all those things are technically cardio, I personally highly, highly recommend trying to keep your cardio sessions separate from your daily, your daily life and your BMR and your, your lifestyle, right? So in short, we have a BMR, basic metabolic rate. Our body needs this amount of calories on a daily basis, which is unique to everybody, to keep our weight the same. If we eat less over a period, period of time, we're gonna lose weight. If we eat more, we're gonna gain weight. Now, that BMR is made up of your activities, your metabolism, how active of a person are you, what type of job do you work, how many times do you go to the gym a week, uh, do you walk your dog every day, maybe you uh, play a few pickup games of basketball, some one-on-one, -on -one, or maybe you do a light warm-up before your workout like I do. I do five to 10 minutes of an incline treadmill. That is all incorporated into my lifestyle. That is my me as a human, right? I have sex a few times a week. Um, what else do I do? I'm not that active of an individual, like that all goes in this one little pile. Now, on this pile, if I were to say, instead of shooting around, playing some one-on-one, -on -one, uh, getting my heart rate up a little bit, if I were to do an hour of straight basketball, where I'm like, wow, this is, like, like, this is not normal, this is out of the ordinary, this is intense, could you count that as a session? Uh, you, you could, and there's nothing wrong with that. And so just be sure that you're not mixing your life. There's like this line, right? It's like your lifestyle, your activity, your, this is you as a person, and this is anything that's like extra. This is something that I'm doing that's not normal. If you can justify whatever you're doing to actually count as a full session and to be intense and to actually have an effect on your body, then I would say you can count it. But personally, I like to kind of put everything on this side in most cases and simply keep my cardio separate. Um, so I like to actually see the calories burned. If I'm doing Stairmaster or Incline, I like seeing 300 or 400 and I can do that a few times a week. And then once I hit a plateau, which we're all gonna hit plateaus, you can either lower your food or increase your cardio. So it's a little bit easier to adjust and manipulate the variables if you know exactly what you're doing. So that's why I prefer nine out of 10 times, I am just going to 
put any of my daily activity over here in my lifestyle and sort of keep it separate. But it is up to you. Uh, last thing I wanna say is that it's very important to find a type of cardio that you like. No one thing is the only way. If a coach tells you you have to do 50 minutes of elliptical two times a week and you don't wanna do elliptical, you can always change up. You can find different ways. Go for a hike. You don't have to be on a treadmill. You can go for a hike. Get a heart rate monitor. You can go and do really whatever you want. Go for a jog, but be sure it's not in your ordinary life. Be sure it's something separate in most cases. So that is my advice and that's sort of my position on it. Um, hopefully that answered your question. So if you're like Max and you know, have sex like once every few months. Yeah, you probably count that. <laughs> Just stay in your, uh, know how to separate and start practicing that. So that's all. Um, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here now. Yeah? What? Ghost winner. Ghost winner. How was that talk? Is that right? Perfect. All right. Give me a thumbs up. I've been, man, got a lot going on in my life here. I feel a little stressed out, right? a little overwhelmed. There's just a lot. We go to Australia on Tuesday. My pre-workout drops on Thursday. Um, haven't seen my parents. Alfleet is having a sale today. Uh, the summer training hoodies dropped. We have a launch coming up right when we get back in town. Um, our body power. Got a video every other day. Got to think of titles and topics and film. And then we got Nala. And we got up energy. Taxes are due. A lot of taxes are due. That's always a stressful time of the year. I'm just venting right now. Um, accounting is like a nightmare right now. Uh, yeah, and just me and Derek and Becca. Small team doing a lot. Athletes aren't small at all. The gym, there's stuff that needs to be fixed. There's things going on there. They season it out. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that bitch enough. Our winner today is going to be Shelby Sherwood. Your comment was seven hours ago. Shelby Sherwood, you're the winner. Go and email me at christianusonfitnessyahoo.com. We're gonna send you a blue pre-workout and a green lemon lime pre-workout. Yes. All right, we out.